Balboa, who is in need of more homes, but is Ho'opili the answer? Good evening, I'm Yanji Denise. Kenny Choi has the night off. KITV first, Brenton Awa has more on the massive developments in the works. Brenton. Yanji, the project's developers say that Ho'opili is unlike any development we've seen in our recent past. They want to build a community out in West Oahu. The problem is they want to do it on ag land. So to get that to happen, they need a bill that would rezone the land to pass through the city council. Tonight, the public got to weigh in. Ho'opili needs to be stopped because it is being built on some of the best agricultural land on Oahu. It's one of two main arguments against the Ho'opili project. Once it's gone, it's gone and we'll never get it back. What do they think they'll get instead? Traffic. The traffic levels are already at an unbearable level. Concerns about the project were once again brought up. As expected, there were critics, but this time, at this public hearing, those voices were drowned out. I keep hearing traffic. Well, tell me how many cars you guys have at home. And whenever we go to build, there are always people like this stopping the project. We need the revenue. From what we've been hearing thus far, uh, there is solid support for Ho'opili out in this community. The project aims at creating a brand new community right here in Kapolei. If it gets the nod, Ho'opili will fit in between the UH West Oahu campus and the old Fort Weaver Road on this roughly 1,200 acres of land. I got eight kids. I want them out of the house. Let's build some more homes, okay? You'd see nearly 12,000 homes. We hear about affordable housing every day or at homes. So I can move up to a nicer home and then someone can buy mine at the entry level. And then jobs. These guys right here. They need jobs. The project would bring a lot of those. 27,000 is the number developers are estimating. 7,000 of those would be permanent. Overall, we're just trying to create a new kind of community. It's kind of hard for people you know, in Hawaii, I grew up here, to envision what that is because you're, we're doing something that's never been done before, integrating transit you know, with jobs, um, with retail, commercial centers. and then. Last week, Bill 3, that's the bill to rezone that ag land passed through first reading in the city council. Committee Chair Ikeka Anderson said that they'll take tonight's testimony into consideration when its committee meets on Thursday. That's when they'll decide whether or not to move this bill forward. Back to you.